I want to thank Hammer, that's the name of the player right here, one of the top brush players in Splatoon, at least top 500, that's what I see on her Twitter. Forgive me as I'm a little bit new to competitive, just at least with the players and the teams and things like that. Not new to Splatoon at all. But here we go, Kingmaker, that's what the KM stands for, of course. If you're looking at the name before Hammer right here, so she will be playing that Octo Brush. This means that she does have the suction sub, she's got the zip caster, we're on Rainmaker, playing Museum de Alfonsino, ladies and gentlemen. Kingmaker Hammer, let's see, so we'll probably do a little bit of like an auto camera here pretty soon. Gonna start off early with the splats. Obviously when they both meet for the Rainmaker there in the middle, like that's gonna happen. We certainly know that. But like I say, we'll, we'll try to focus a little bit more of course on Hammer as well, just because this is a video somewhat featuring her, but thanks to her for getting us that code too. So that's certainly much appreciated by me. This blue squad has at least moved the Rainmaker a little bit. Now we're kind of gonna be at that standstill. We do have it at that kind of first checkpoint area right there. So close to being able to move that on forward even more. But right now, clearly, the specials are flying. I mean, we have our crab tank right here that we're looking at, but we also, of course, saw orange with the killer whale resistance. And now they have the Rainmaker, of course. It's gonna say they lost the Rainmaker. We are still, as spectators, just from the blue squad's perspective, so all of our alerts will be geared towards them. Now that will be a wipeout, ladies and gentlemen. So orange squad being fully wiped out there helps, but the respawns were set essentially at a time that orange was gonna be coming back pretty soon. Like, the wipeout, it can be declared even if, let's say, you wiped out the three other players and then you got that fourth one as those other players are about to respawn, right? So like really close to their respawn. I suppose that's what we mean, but trying to make that Rainmaker move just a little bit more. Not able to get it to another checkpoint, but Orange at least trying to push that back, like I said. So this blue squad certainly coming out with a lot of fire. A lot of vengeance right here. They came to play, and so clearly many specials still being brought down. I mean, this is definitely high intensity. I think, of course, you would expect most competitive Splatoon to actually go that way, but I suppose we just mentioned that just for the sheer fact that this is going to be a pretty tough one. We're not just gonna win handedly here, I guess, if we're blue, right? Now, Orange could, of course, overturn this. Maybe try. If they're gonna pull ahead, though, it does seem like it's just gonna be, like, just barely, right? Because this blue squad, they have definitely been masterful at keeping Orange off of this Rainmaker for too long. You know, every time you see that they have it, they pretty much lose it very quickly. It looks like Chain's going down, but it's gonna be a traded splat. So, ladies and gentlemen, it looks like the Killer Whale goes down, and now Orange with the wipeout! That means we certainly could try to change things right now. This would be the time, right? When every Everybody is off the map, and that was a pretty good consecutive wipeout for the most part. So Orange finally able to kind of put some distance on the board that's going to amount to some points, and then they lose the Rainmaker at 85, so that is our progress here so far. So we may think about pretty soon, at least we're going to focus back on Hammer, at least for the times that Hammer is up and not KO'd or anything like that, so be expecting that in just a moment. We are seeing Blue make this push. Dr. Dutch holding on to that Rainmaker once again. We're trying everything we can. We do have Hammer out front right now with that brush. We try to just secure those KOs where you can. You can see the blast being traded by both sides. They do lose the Rainmaker right there, so still at 60 at the moment. And now here we go. We can put our spectating focus. We'll go back on Hammer right here. Dr. Dutch will make the jump. She does have the zip caster ready. I'm not sure that now is really the time you need it, except for there's going to be the KO, actually. So we'll go ahead and switch. Not without trading, though. Certainly try to make, you know, the most out of your life, right? When you're that brush player, you got to be pretty confined. In a lot of these battles, at least, you're going to be kind of close up to them. We have seen, though, this is just pretty amazing because Hammer did build this when sending me this coach he said this was a 30 ko match so hammer evidently going to be getting 30 ko's we haven't seen every single last one of them but look at this you find those opportunities as that brush player and my god there you go hammer putting down the hammer i would say this is nice go back for the tactic cooler very good we have the rainmaker blue team yet again we'll go ahead and take this this has been a little bit back and forth at least orange trying to put up that resistance but notice hammer's just gonna take them on out of here this is what the brush should be doing right you got your zip caster ready so it looks like she is deploying but like i say if you're that octopus brush you're one of these brush players you gotta get down and dirty you gotta get up in people's faces and she's been doing very well at crippling this orange team they're not gonna be able to go for these objectives as easy they're not gonna be able to move that rainmaker as easy clearly working as a team because you take out those team members it's kind of at a base level of course is what we're talking about but notice this splatting yet again there's two down and now hammer finally gonna be brought down by Vinny boy looks like blue still somewhat on the run they did lose the rainmaker but notice that essentially we did I guess it's just this is the thing about commentating splatoon is anything can happen in like two to four seconds but what I'm saying is there were actually two down from each team at the time of those KOs so they were sort of on this like somewhat more even footing but you can clearly see this blue team's been doing pretty well now they have the Rainmaker we got a crab tank down they're looking obviously to be to the side but notice Hammer right here our featured player wonderful we'll go ahead and brush them out so you can splat them that's what you got to do when the crab tank is down you go from the back if you're a reef slider maybe you go right through it but point being this was exactly what this blue squad could use in a moment like that where orange 
Hodge was just trying to make that push. I mean, this is disgusting. Good job, Hammer. You'll come through like a ninja because she's just in the ink, keeping herself well concealed at all times. And then you pop out at all of the most advantaged times. And so there it is again. Ellis is down once more. You watch out for some sub weapons like this. You know, anytime that they're throwing down a bomb, sure. But my God, this is just absolutely ballistic again. Sometimes splats with the well-placed suction bomb, but sometimes those splats just cool, calculated, coordinated, going for blood or going for ink, we should say. And that was blue team because they went and picked up the Rainmaker. All they needed to do when the timer was up, pick up that Rainmaker once, and then they're going to win the game. And so that is going to bring the victory. We'll go ahead and show you the result screen too as well, just so you can get a look at the menace. Hammer right here with that 30 KOs. Very nice. If you guys want to see some more, please feel free to click an end screen on screen. Join our Discord if you're looking to group up with other people. And thanks for viewing.